Hi, Manny. Do you know where we are? I think I'm lost. You may be in a haze, and you are certainly in Cruella's maze. But with the jazz mole, everything's under control. Dig it? Uh, yeah. I dig. Will you help me get through the maze? I will meet and greet along the way. Okay? Great. What can you tell me about the maze? Here's the lowdown. Those crazy DeVille cats built this maze to keep strangers out, dig? To get through the maze, you must learn to turn. Throw a switch, and you're rich, Mitch. So I use the switches to turn the barriers? Thanks, Manny! Here's the switch I was talking about. Got it. Hey, cat. Check this out. Cruella DeVille put thorny traps in here to stop you, dig? But the jazz mole knows a secret. What's that? The thorn balls always move along the same path. Learn the path and you can avoid the pain, Jane. Thanks, Manny. See you later, alligator. to put this here for me. What a nice guy. Weird, but nice. Hi-ho, puppet child. Hi, Manny. Am I going the right way? Yes, indeed, hey, Speedy. You are almost done with the fun. That's great news, Manny. I'll see you around.
Hello, friend. Tibbs here again. The Colonel sent me to help you through this area. I'm certain one of the Baden brothers is in the house. So, I'll scout ahead and try to find a good place to set up an ambush. Thanks, Tibbs. See you soon. <laughs> Here's the plan. I've sabotaged the clock. Just bark at it, and the clock will make a noise to raise the dead. Or at least, Horace. Okay, that sounds easy. Then what? When Horace comes into the room, lead him under the chandelier, and I'll take it from there. Will do. Must have put this here for me. What a nice guy. Weird, but nice. I hope, Puppy Child. Hi, Manny. Am I going the right way? Yes, indeed, Speedy. You are almost done with the fun. That's great news, Manny. I'll see you around. Puppy Child. <laughs> Hello, friend. Tibbs here again. The Colonel sent me to help you through this area. I'm certain one of the Baden brothers is in the house. So, I'll scout ahead and try to find a good place to set up an ambush. Thanks, Tibbs. See you soon. Good work. Now, here's the plan. I've sabotaged the clock. Just bark at it, and the clock will make a noise to raise the dead. Or at least, Horace. Okay. That sounds easy. Then what? When Horace comes into the room, lead him under the chandelier, and I'll take it from there. Will do. <laughs> what the dickens is that? Here he comes. Right. Get to your mark. There's nowhere to run this time, Mutt. Hey, why did the Mutt stop? Uh-oh. Not the chandelier! <laughs> I guess it's lights out for Horace. <laughs> I hope Jasper's not mad at me. Loser! Wow, you made it all the way to Cruella's toy factory. That's great. How did you get here? Well, actually, I got captured by one of Cruella's toys. It packed me into a crate and dragged me back here. How did you escape? Luckily, I'm skinny, and I was able to squeeze out through one of the crate's air holes. Ouch. So where do we go from here? You need to get past the factory's scary machinery, rescue the last of your brothers and sisters, and make your way to the center of the factory, where you will confront Cruella one last time. Is that all? 
It'll be a snap. Whoa. I'm not sure I like the look of that thing. What is it? It's some kind of crusher used to prepare metal for the robot toy assembly line. Ooh. It looks pretty dangerous to me, Fluffy. Do you have any tips on how I can avoid being crushed like a recycled can? <laughs> Each crusher has its own pattern and timing. I'm sure that if you watch a crusher run for a few seconds, you can learn the pattern and get through safely. Okay, Fluffy. Uh, that's good advice. Try jumping on the flat box to get an elevator ride up to the next room. Sure thing! This is the freakiest place I've ever seen, Fluffy! What on earth is it? We're inside Professor Farsbosom's electromagnetic experiment chamber. Those cubes out there float on magnetic waves. Ooh. Can we do anything with them? Yes. Each of these switches will cause a different set of magnets to turn on, arranging the cubes into a unique pattern. You can jump on the cubes after they've been rearranged, but you'll have to hurry. The magnets stay on for only a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, puppy. You're almost at the end of the level, and Cruella is nearby. Get ready, and good luck. Thanks for all the help, Fluffy. I can't believe it. That foul little scrapper has made it all the way here, to the heart of my toy factory. Boy, she sure likes to hear herself talk. But your canine karma has come to an end. My new super glue cannon will be your demise. Boss, turn on the super glue pump. Here it goes, Cruella. That sounds like trouble. We better do what Fluffy said and disable her computers as fast as possible. What is that foul canine up to? No matter. It is about to become a plush door. Stop that, you meddling web! Those computers are expensive! <laughs> oh, not another! Why won't that mutt hold still? Oh, no! This is impossible! Not the super glue! Help! Someone! Get me out of this glue! <laughs> oh, say blue, my darling! Let him have it, Domino! Whoa! Now that's a pretty sight. You imbecile! You nincompoop! You grotesque, dangly geek! Let's go find mom and dad. Even though she's gone, I can still smell the scent of that Cruella woman. It's like pepper. Achoo. Don't worry, Dottie. All our puppies are safe. And the police will make sure that evil woman won't bother us again for a long, long time. Now let's go home. Well, mates, this might be an opportune time to make ourselves scarce. Where? I despise traditional prison apparel. I hear someone coming. Let's hide. Canine crunchies can't be beat. They make each meal a special treat. Happy I wonder what ever happened to Cruella and her henchmen. Yeah, me too. Tell me again, you moron. How long will the gloop keep us like this? Uh, approximately 20 years, my sweet. Not quite as long as our prison sentences. No! <laughs> Is it safe to come out? Boy, that sure was a long trip. Sacre bleu! Boy, I sure hope one of you brought sunscreen. 